Welcome back. Now you will get a bit more advanced as we begin to explore array data types. Arrays in PostgreSQL are very similar to arrays in most programming languages. You can create multi-dimensional arrays of varying lengths for any native data type in PostgreSQL. Before we get started, we want to quickly touch on some concepts that you'll be using in this lesson. Most data science requires getting data out of a database using SQL queries with select statements. But before you are able to extract data, someone needs to create the database, add at least one table with at least one column, and then insert some records. The create table command, as you see in this example, will create an empty table called my first table with the columns, first column and second column, defined as text and integer data types. The insert statement example here will add one record into my first table with text value as the value for the first column and 12 as the value for the second column. Now that you have learned some basics about the create table command and insert statements, let's see how you can use these skills to create and manipulate array types. To create an array type, you simply need to add square brackets to the end of the data type that you want to make an array. Let's create a simple table with two array columns to illustrate how this is done. This table has an email column which will be a nested array of text data to store the email type and the address for a given student ID. The test scores column will contain an array of integer values representing the numeric test score. Once the table is created, we can use the insert statement to add a couple of records to the table. Notice how arrays are represented in the SQL with curly brackets and single quotations for email and comma-separated list of whole numbers for test scores. Now that we have data in our table, let's see how you access array data in a select statement. Accessing arrays in PostgreSQL is very similar to accessing arrays in other programming languages. For email, you can get the first element of the first array by using the array notation you see here with index values of one. Note that PostgreSQL array indexes start with one and not zero. The same notation used to access arrays in the select statement can also be used in the WHERE clause as a filter. Here we look for records that have WORK as a value in the first index of the email array. Using standard syntax for non-array columns like WHERE email equals WORK would actually generate an error. The any function allows you to search an array for a value and return a record if it finds a match. In this example, we want to query all records where the email address contains other in any value of the array. Notice the null values for type and address. Remember the second record we created earlier in this lesson only had one email address of type work. This means that when we access the second index value for this record by using the number 2 in the first set of square brackets, it would be null because it doesn't exist. An alternative to the any function is the contains operator. The syntax for this operator is a bit more complex, but will return the same results as the any function as shown in the output below. Now it's your turn to get some practice working with arrays in 